Welcome to the talk, EU Citizen Science, the platform for sharing citizen science projects, resources, tools, and training modules. My name is Claudia Favocartas, and I work at EXA, the European Citizen Science Association, as a project officer for the EU Citizen Science Project. This talk will be structured as follows. First, I will introduce you to the EU Citizen Science Project and its vision and mission. Then I will present you the platform functionalities and what there's in it for you. So let's start. Here the project in a nutshell. EU Citizen Science is a three-year project aimed to build the platform for sharing, initiating and learning citizen science in Europe. The EU Citizen Science Project is a coordination and support action, a CSA, funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme. As a coordination and support action, the project is focused on communication, coordination and support of activities related to citizen science. The consortium involves 14 partners and nine third parties, representing 14 European countries and a variety of stakeholders dedicated to citizen science, such as universities, NGOs, local authorities, community service organizations, and museums. The stakeholders in the consortium in turn act as multipliers and through their participation in the EU Citizen Science Project, build, strengthen, or link national and or disciplinary networks on citizen science. We leverage the tremendous European potential in regard to capacities, skills, and know-how gained within the European projects and the varied stakeholder communities actively involved in citizen science. Once the project ends at the end of this year, 2021, EXA, the European Citizen Science Association, will take over the platform and its management for at least five more years. Our vision is for citizen science to become an appreciated and widely established means for the democratization of science in Europe. And our core mission is for the platform to become the European reference point for citizen science through cross-network knowledge sharing for citizen science participants, practitioners, researchers, policymakers, and society across Europe. As the European citizen science landscape is rapidly growing and gaining actors and fields of action, the challenge that EU citizen science addresses is the increasing need for a place for exchange and network, a place that bundles, sorts and categorizes all information by guaranteeing high quality. With the platform EU citizen science, we develop a mutual learning space where different tools, best practice examples and relevant scientific outcomes are collected, curated and made accessible to different stakeholders ranging from interested citizens and media, over scientific institutions, up to policymakers and funders. As you can see in this figure, with the platform we aim to reach academia, educators, the public, policymakers and funders, NGOs and CSOs, the press and media, as well as the industry and SMEs. So how is our project contributing to the advancement of citizen science, you might ask? We are establishing the foundations for a Europe-wide community hub based on high-quality citizen science exchange and learning. We are consolidating and empowering citizen science as a way of producing knowledge and celebrating outstanding practices. We are exploring new pathways for participatory governance by strengthening the bonds between citizen science and policymaking. And we are advancing citizen science into the mainstream of public engagement, science communication and education. This is achieved through three interconnected lines of activity. First, the coordination of citizen science actions and leveraging of existing resources in the presently fragmented landscape of citizen science in Europe. Second, the engagement of actors at all levels, local, national and European. And third, 
the creation of a mutual learning space and a set of comprehensive training modules for the different target audiences for the mainstreaming of citizen science at the European level. In this way, EU citizen science generates connections between the different stakeholders and audiences we aim to reach. So now, welcome to the EU citizen science platform. I will first tell you why the platform is so unique and then what's in it for you. The platform is unique because it is built by the community for the community. It contains resources that are easy to access, clear to implement and to adapt. There is a section on the platform called our gold star selection, which contains a creation of citizen science resources made by the EU Citizen Science Consortium that can help you get started with designing and launching your own citizen science project or simply to learn about citizen science. These are resources of particularly high quality or that represent best practice. We will see what it looks like in a moment. All resources, projects and tools on the platform have gone through a moderation process considering impact and quality criteria to assess if they are about citizen science, relevant to citizen science and good quality. The platform is also interoperable meaning that it can connect with other platforms via APIs. API stands for Application Programming Interface. The platform follows the four principles of data management, making data findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. The platform has a European dimension and it's also open to the world. And now, what's in it for you on this platform? You can find over 180 projects that are engaging the public in research via citizen science activities. You can get inspired by all kinds of initiatives, learn about them and from their experience and collaborate, also online from the other side of the world. Here on the left, I have filtered the projects with the topic birds. Projects can be filtered by status, country, topic, and by whether they are doable at home. The search bar at the top can be used to find projects as well as resources, training resources and organizations by introducing keywords or part of the name of what you are searching for. On the right is the profile of a project with its description and there is another tab called participation where projects can write how one can participate and what equipment is needed. There are over 170 resources and training materials about the practice of citizen science. Here you can see the resources filtered by the resource type policy brief as an example. At the top right of the platform is our gold star selection, as I just explained. And on the right, you can see what the gold star selection looks like a bit zoomed out. Training resources and materials have a dedicated section on the platform and a separate profile form. These are resources that are designed or can be used explicitly for the goals of teaching or training a person on the practice of citizen science. Right now, you can find over 10 training modules or MOOCs on the Moodle page of EU Citizen Science and more are coming until the end of 2021. The link to the training modules is at the top of the page. And this is the model page of EU Citizen Science. You can log in with your platform account and take free self-directed training modules or units on citizen science in a wide array of themes, from introduction to citizen science over research design and methods, engagement and impact, to communication and regulations and ethics. These training modules cater to different audiences, such as citizen science practitioners and researchers, those who will spend time interacting with citizen scientists, both formal and informal educators, science journalists, policy makers, etc. There is something for everyone. And here's an extract of training modules currently on the platform or to come until the end of 2021. 
Most of the MOOCs are in English, but there are others in Slovak, Hungarian, Spanish, and German. If you weren't convinced yet, the free training modules are a very good argument to register to the platform. There are also an events calendar, a blog, over 150 profiles of organizations that are involved in citizen science projects and research, and platform and community forums for questions, conversations, and collaboration with the community. You can browse through EU Citizen Science without having an account, but being registered allows you to access the training modules, submit projects, resources, events, etc., follow projects and add resources to your library, which means that you can quickly find them later as they are saved in your personal area. The final launch of the platform with new functionalities is taking place or has taken place depending on when you are watching this recorded presentation on the 27th October 2021. So after the 27th October 12 p.m. Central European time, the look and feel of the platform contents I have just shown will look a bit different. You might want to go to the platform and check out the new functionalities. There is or will be a new personal area or profile section with a privacy center that is GDPR compliant. Personal profiles will be public and searchable, but will be closed by default. Users will be able to see their submission history to easily search for and edit previous submissions. Linked organizations of which you are a member are also displayed. Part of the new launch are improved submission forms. Platform users have sometimes encountered problems when submitting projects and resources. With the new forms, users can save and continue editing at a later point without losing the data they have introduced, even if it's incomplete or they have left the site. There are many languages in Europe. For this reason, and to facilitate the integration with other citizen science platforms, the dynamic part of the platform content, that is projects, resources, etc., can be translated. The API application programming interface of the EU Citizen Science platform allows interoperability and connection to other platforms. Metadata for projects follow the PPSR core project metadata model. PPSR stands for Public Participation in Scientific Research. The metadata for resources and training resources follow the Dublin core, and the metadata for organization and platform profiles is our own. The API, as well as all forms and metadata, are standard and allow interoperability with other platforms. The API allows almost everything that the platform allows, authentication and to pull, push and edit content. In this context, pull means to pull content from another platform to show it on EU Citizen Science. And to push means to show content from EU Citizen Science on another platform. Other new functionalities introduced in the final platform launch are the possibility to submit platform profiles, an advanced search function, improved statistics, so users can know how many people are visiting their submitted profile, and an automated digest with new projects, resources, etc. on the platform that gets sent out regularly. Also a snippet to not have to deal with the API is introduced which allows to use the same functions as the API with a code. The idea is similar to embedding a video on a web page. The final version of the platform will also be compliant with the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2.1, aimed at making web content more accessible to a wider range of people with disabilities. Before I say goodbye, here is a summary of the EU Citizen Science platform and the functionalities I have introduced to you. And at the bottom, you can see the logos of our project partners and third parties. For any questions you might have on the platform, you can contact me at the email address shown here on the slide. Thank you for listening and goodbye.